It is Monday, June 8th, and this is CONCACAF Video Signals. Today on Video Signals, there was no shortage of excitement as CONCACAF World Cup qualifying heated up even further on Saturday. We'll take a look at all the games. There is news from the CONCACAF Champions League. Then we'll go on a trip around the Confederation. Plus, we have the CONCACAF Quiz. We start with World Cup qualifying where there was unbridled joy in San Salvador, relief in Chicago, and the extremes of emotions in Basilet. First, let's go to the Estadio Cuscatlan, where El Salvador pulled off a qualifying surprise, upending Mexico 2-1 and spoiling Javier Aguirre's return as El Tri's head coach. Eliseo Quintanilla's 86th-minute penalty propelled the Cuscatlecos to the historic victory and condemned Mexico to its fifth loss in seven away qualifiers. Julio Martinez had a hand in both Salvadoran goals. He scored the opener in the 11th minute, and his second half cross was blocked by a Mexican defender's hand in the box, which resulted in Quintanilla's penalty kick. Cuauhtémoc Blanco, who also made his return to the Mexican national team, scored Mexico's only goal through a 71st minute penalty. In Basilet, Tobago, at the Dwight York Stadium, Celso Borges scored two second-half goals and lifted Costa Rica to a 3-2 victory over Trinidad and Tobago, consolidating the Ticos' place atop the final round table. Borges, who also scored against the United States on Wednesday, tallied in the 52nd minute and the 69th, which proved to be the game winner. Alvaro Saborio scored Costa Rica's opener in the 41st. Carlos Edwards gave the host a brief 30th minute lead, while Colin Samuel had the Soka Warriors' other goal, a 63rd minute shot that evened the score for a short period. It was Russell Latipe's first qualifier as the head coach of Trinidad. The U.S. posted a 2-1 victory against Honduras behind a successful penalty kick conversion from Landon Donovan and a game-winning header from team captain Carlos Bocanegra in the 68th minute in front of nearly 56,000 fans at Soldier Field in Chicago. The come-from-behind victory was the first in qualifying for the U.S. in more than 24 years, the last occurring on May 15, 1985 against Trinidad and Tobago in St. Louis. Donovan now stands as the USA's all-time leading scorer in World Cup qualifying with 11 goals. Honduras took an early fifth-minute lead through Carlos Costley as he neatly tucked in a left-footed shot past U.S. goalkeeper Tim Howard. A look at the standing shows that Costa Rica and the USA are maintaining a comfortable distance between themselves and the rest of the field. El Salvador has jumped into the last automatic World Cup place, while Honduras and Mexico try to play catch-up. Though Trinidad has lost touch with the top two, they are only three points behind third place El Salvador. There are two more games this week. El Salvador travels to Honduras, and Mexico will attempt once again to right the ship, this time at home to Trinidad. Please watch video signals this week for more World Cup qualifying news. CONCACAF announced today that Costa Rica was granted a third place in the next Champions League after it was determined that the stadium of Nicaragua's Real Esteli did not meet competition standards and that Panama, which was to be given a third place if Nicaragua did not have a suitable stadium, themselves did not have a sufficient number of stadiums to officially take that place. As a result, Herediano will join Saprissa and Liberia as Costa Rica's representatives in the next competition. Now, let's see what's happening around the Confederation. A Kmar daily strike in the game's dying seconds gave host Jamaica its first victory over Panama in nearly 40 years as the Reggae Boys posted a 3-2 friendly international win in Kingston yesterday. The final whistle also brought down the curtain on John Barnes's tenure as Jamaica's head coach, as the former England and Liverpool legend announced after the game that he will take an offer with Tranmere Rovers, an English League Two team. Barnes, who will be replaced by Theodore Whitmore, departs with a Caribbean Championship title and an unbeaten record. Jermaine Johnson and Devin Hodges, the Jamaica Premier League's top scorer, accounted for Jamaica's other goals. Blas Perez had given Panama a 12th-minute lead, while Luis Tejada added the other. Yesterday, Municipal and Jalapa advanced to the Guatemalan Liga Nacional two-leg final after surviving tight semifinal contests. Municipal defeated Suchetepeques 3-0 to take the series 3-2 on aggregate. Juan Carlos Plata's extra-time goal secured the victory. Jalapa overcame Heredia by the same 3-2 aggregate score after a 2-2 tie. Rodrigo de Leon had both goals for Jalapa. Municipal and Jalapa will meet on Thursday and Sunday, with the winner advancing to the CONCACAF Champions League. And that completes our trip around CONCACAF. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. 
On Friday, we asked which of this past weekend's World Cup qualifying games in CONCACAF was of the most interest to you. Thanks to everyone who responded. The answer is the USA-Honduras game. 67% who replied said that game at Soldier Field in Chicago interested them the most. Today's question points us in the direction of Wednesday's World Cup qualifier between Honduras and El Salvador. In head-to-head -head World Cup qualifying meetings between the two rivals, which one has won the most games? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at concacaf.org. All those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. The draw for this week's contest was conducted earlier today. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF News.